Hi folks, Noah Bombard, Managing Editor at Mass Live, and uh, we're going to try to go live uh, with uh, Melissa uh, Hansen, who's in Lawrence, covering the, uh, the race there. Um, as I mentioned in a video earlier, one of the key races we're watching uh, tonight is the mayoral election in the city of Lawrence, where former mayor William Lantigua is trying to retake his seat uh, that he lost uh, several years ago to uh, Mayor Dan uh, Rivera, who uh, <laughs> won by a, a slim margin of 81 votes. So uh, we've had uh, Melissa in Lawrence today uh, checking in on the polls, checking in on uh, former Mayor Lantigua. Uh, there's a lot of interest on as to whether or not uh, he can uh, reclaim his seat. And uh, we are going to try to go live with Melissa right now. This works. Hey, Melissa. Hi, how's it going? Hi, and I can't hear you. Hang on, let me unplug this microphone. Think about that. Hey. All right, can you hear me now? I, I can, loud and clear. So uh, oh. you've been out here in, uh, in Lawrence. Uh, what's it like at the polls? Um, it's a little quiet right now, midday slump, but everyone's telling me that this morning the polls were very heavy, there were lines, a lot of people coming out to vote. Um, I'm here at the Robert Frost School, and they just told me um, Precinct E2 had 623 voters as of about 3.30, so it's good turnout so far. Yeah, it's, it's interesting to note, too, that uh, although elections like this get relatively low turnout, Lawrence actually had, uh, I think the uh, city clerk had reported uh, uh, during the preliminary election, had close to a 30% uh, turnout. Oh, sorry. Back. <laughs> uh, yeah, had close sounds to turnout there uh, for the preliminary election um, uh, earlier this year. Yeah, turnout was 40,000. Today, so. 56 voters here in Lawrence, so they're expecting maybe about 41% to come out today, so a little bit higher than the preliminary. Certainly higher than yeah. what you're seeing in other towns and cities across the state. Now, you were able to get over to uh, Mayor Lantigua's headquarters. Uh, what was the uh, mood like there? Um, it was pretty energetic over there. People seemed to, you know, be ready for the rest of the night ahead. Um, they seemed confident in how the voters were coming out and showing support for Lantigua. He was a little tired. He was drinking some coffee out of a mug with his face on it. Uh, but, you know, he posed for a couple of photos, chatted with me for a moment, and he's going to be out there hitting the polls again this afternoon. Uh, it, it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, what the results are. He was such uh, a charismatic uh, uh, if, uh if nothing else. Uh, obviously, his, uh, his term as mayor was marred by a number of scandals, uh, starting with, you know, three of his uh, administration were uh, indicted on charges, mm -hmm. ended up serving jail time. Uh, there was also uh, some uh, allegations that he had uh, no, not allegations, but he had had road paved months before uh, he lost his election, or just weeks before, actually, during the off season, the end of October, November, uh, and uh, it sort of as a bid to, to buy favoritism. Some people speculated, and there were problems with that work uh, later on. So there was a number of scandals and things that uh, mm -hmm. uh, shadowed his administration. I know uh, that Antigua has uh, uh, often felt that that he was under assault from uh, from his opponents, from the media, uh, from others that were uh, drawing attention. But he seems to have a very solid uh, group of supporters in Lawrence who, uh, who, who think he's done a fantastic job. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a few people that I've talked to here today have told me they like that he's a little bit eccentric. They think that he kept, you know, the city streets cleaner, less, you know, litter and trash around. And, you know, one thing that I've heard is a lot of people think that Dan Rivera has dropped the ball when it comes to preventing crime here in the city. Um, a few Mondays ago, there were four people shot in one night. So residents are a little concerned about that. And some of them think Lantigua can do a better job preventing that kind of crime in the future. Yeah, the violence has been an issue uh, in Lawrence a long time, but it certainly has spiked recently. We've seen a lot of reports mm -hmm. of shootings that unfortunately seems to be the thing that Lawrence winds up in the news most uh, about lately. Uh, and it doesn't help that the entire state is grappling with an opioid epidemic, which I'm sure uh, must be hitting Lawrence uh, pretty hard. Yes. So. All right. Um, well, we'll we'll keep uh, we'll keep uh, tabs on you as you're out there and uh, the polls close and we get a better idea of uh, what the results will be. And uh, mm -hmm. 
uh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, touch base uh, with you later on tonight. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Noah. All right, thank you. Uh, all right, folks. Uh, so that was uh, Melissa Hansen, who's uh, out in Lawrence. And uh, we will be back uh, when we uh, are touching base with some of the other races. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, all of the results will be at MassLive.com. You can find the results as they pour in there after the polls close at 8 p.m. Uh, we'll have all the info from across the state, from Boston to Newton and Framing, uh, Framingham, um, Lawrence, uh, and the western part of the state as well. Uh, going out to uh, Holyoke and uh, and also some of the the uh, city council races in Springfield. So you can find all that on MassLive.com.